Hey everyone, uh, today is uh, January 27th, Friday. Let's go through a very classic lead code problem. Um, then you can tell that from the, uh, the lead code number, it's 125. It's within the first 25, 125 problems. And you can see that there are a, a total of four million submissions. <laughs> it's just a warm up question for people to get into algorithms and data structures. So um, with that said, let's take a look. Problem is called valid palindrome. A phrase is a palindrome if after converting all uppercase letters into lowercase letters and removing all non-alphanumeric characters, it reads the same forward and back backward. Alphanumeric characters inc include letters and numbers. So there are many different kinds of palindromes, but basically it's it's asking you to find a string that reads the same from backward and from forward. Um, in this case, it has introduced a little bit um, extra complexity, which is to have included some like punctuations, um, like um, empty space, um, all of these. So um, easy, we can just remove them and. Also, it's asking us to treat and to ignore case. So we will be case insensitive when we deal with this problem. So it's completely up to the problem definition. So in this case, um, we are going to convert this given string into something like this. And then we tell, we can tell it, it is a palindrome because every character um, like reads from the beginning, reads forward, matches up. Um, when we read it from backwards, right? Okay, so the idea of doing this is what we can use a classic two pointer technique. Uh, by two pointer, there are ma many different variants of two pointer technique. For this one, it's a pretty classic one, which is a uh, left pointer and right pointer. We use these two pointers to narrow this string towards the middle. And while we are narrowing it down, we compare, we use these two pointers to compare each character within this, within this string to see if they are equal. Of course, we want to eliminate all of the non-alphanumerical characters, to basically to skip them. And also we want to convert the case. We can either convert everything into uppercase or convert everything into lowercase. That's it. Okay, with that said, uh, we can put that into the actual code. Um, so say first, uh, left is uh, zero, right is, we'll start from the right, thi uh, right side, uh, length minus one. And then as long as left is smaller than right, that means these two pointers haven't met at the middle yet. If that is the case, we'll just keep tracking. So now let's focus on one end. For example, the left end, say the left. It is entirely possible that the left encounters, the first character that encounters is not alphanumeric. So we'll just skip that. And it's entirely possible that like the consecutive characters, all of them are non-alphanumeric. So in this case, we use a while loop to skip all of them. So as long as, so uh, we need this case to be in this in the while loop as well. That is because we need to check just in case we get out of the boundary, right? So as long as left is smaller than right and um, as so we need to check character in Java. There's this API um, character is digit all ladder. Um, then we check char at left. As long as it's not this case, what we'll do is we'll keep incrementing i. That means we are moving the left pointer toward the right, right? And then we'll do the same for the right pointer. So as long as right is greater than left and the same thing, we'll just copy it here. Um, as long as right is greater than left, 
me just to put this one this way so it's easier to understand and the one on the right side is not alphanumeric what we'll do is that we'll keep decrementing right so that means we move or we're moving the right pointer towards the left all right once the encounter so we'll check once the encounter uh, remember this in this problem we are case insensitive we can convert them either into all lowercase or all uppercase okay since this problem is is stating that we'll convert them into all lowercase then what we'll do is we'll just do this character to lower case and then as char at uh, left yes not equals to this which is right and then we'll just return false all right let me put this on the side so that we can view the entire branch on one line uh, with this uh, we are good and then after this we'll keep moving so after this check that means the two characters that we were able to compare they are equal or in they are equal case insensitive wise okay so in this case we'll keep uh, moving the two pointers towards the middle right goes like this and in the end we can just return true all right so the reason that we can simply use two lowercase in case it is a by alphanumeric so it's either alphabetical or numeric okay so although for numbers there is no uppercase numbers or lowercase numbers um, we can still simply use this because in the java doc of this api it basically says if it's possible we'll just convert it to a lowercase but if it's not possible we'll likely get a the num the character itself so we're fine to use to even put a numeric character into this um, api as its parameter so it's, we're fine so yeah this is the answer uh, this is the solution to this problem let me hit run oops something wrong here character is digit on i think it might be called is letter or digit is is digit or letter yeah uh, i think i'm confusing myself it should be is the reason it can um i don't think the outer complete feature of intelligence is still so well as long as i have this one here is it's going to auto complete which is not really java um, sdk auto complete is letter all digit i might have remembered the api um, wrong name let me give it one more try is letter all digit yeah that's the correct api uh, from the Java standard SDK. Uh, it's accepted. Let me hit submit to see if it's accepted. All right, it's accepted. Um, yeah, so the solution to this problem um, is pretty straightforward, but it's very classic. So it's, um, and usually this problem serves as the introductory problem for people to get into algorithm or data structures and computer science um, palindrome. Um, so the idea is to use two pointers. Um, one starts from the left end, the other starts from the right end. Uh, we'll move these two pointers towards the middle. While we're moving these two pointers, we'll keep checking, do all of the computation and checking along the way. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, the time complexity of this problem is just O of n. n is the number of characters in the given string. Space complexity is just a O of 1 right we don't need any extra space um so it's constant yeah that's it for this very classic problem so if you um think my explanation makes sense and it helps you understand this problem please do me a favor and hit the like button that's going to help me a lot with the youtube algorithm i really appreciate that so with that said i'll see you guys in the next one thank you